You know, these deep dives always get me thinking, but this one, this one about the AI maestro, this article you sent, it's got some really, I don't know, bold predictions about AI and organizations. Yeah, they're definitely thought provoking, especially now, right? Yep. AI has gone from this niche thing to, well, a driving force. It's everywhere. It really is. Yeah. Seems like every day, boom, another article, AI is transforming this, disrupting that. Makes you wonder, you know, what skills are we going to need in this? this new world. Absolutely. And what's interesting, this article, it makes this comparison to like past tech revolutions, you know, like remember when supercomputers were the big deal? Oh yeah. Those massive expensive things. I mean, only a handful of people even knew how to use them. Right. Right. But even then you saw these brand new job titles popping up, supercomputer analysts, seismic engineers, stuff that, well, it didn't even exist before. That's a good point. It's easy to forget how much has changed, even just in our lifetimes. Exactly. And then, bam, the internet explodes. Suddenly you need internet engineers, yeah. web designers, heck, even those social media managers you mentioned, right? Yeah. Each wave, it brings its own like demand for these specific skills. Oh, I remember when social media managers sound like, I don't know, something out of a movie, not a real job. Now it's everywhere. So is this article saying AI is going to be even bigger than the internet? <laughs> in terms of jobs? Well, it argues that AI, it's not just going to automate things, right? It's going to create this need for entirely new roles to manage all the, the complexity that comes with it. Yeah. One of the big ideas is uh, AI agents. AI agents, like mm -hmm. secret agents, but with, with algorithms and stuff. Not exactly. Ha ha. Well, that does sound pretty cool, I'll admit. Think of them more like individual AI systems within an organization. Okay. So your CRM, marketing automation, those chatbot things you see popping up everywhere, even predictive maintenance systems, all of those could be considered AI agents. Okay, okay, I'm starting to get it. But if these AI agents are already doing specific tasks, why do we need a new role to manage them? That is where the whole AI maestro idea comes in. See, the article says that as organizations start using potentially like tens of thousands of these AI agents, you're going to need someone to to kind of orchestrate them. Orchestrate them. Yeah. Make sure they're all working together effectively, ethically. Imagine a conductor leading an orchestra, but instead of instruments, it's, you know, algorithms and data. So it's not just about building the AI, it's about conducting it. I like that. But the article, it goes even further, right? It starts talking about the art of AI. And that's where I get a little lost. Like, how do you go from code to something you'd consider art? I have to admit, when I saw the art of AI, I thought, did they misspell something? How do you go from like ones and zeros to to art? It is a fascinating idea, right? Mm -hmm. The article, it's saying that as AI gets, you know, more complex, more integrated into everything we do, the real skill is going to be in the implementation, how you actually use it. So it's not enough to just have all these AI agents running around. Right. It's like you can have the best instruments in the world, but if no one's arranging the music, if there's no conductor... It's just going to be noise. Okay, so it's about making the technology kind of disappear. Like a well-designed app, it just works. You don't even think about it. Exactly. The art is in making it feel seamless, intuitive. The AI should be giving you insights, helping you make decisions that make sense, not just spitting out data. And it has to interact with people in a way that's, you know, helpful, not, not creepy. So the AI might be crunching numbers, but it takes a human to actually make that meaningful. Yes. And to do it ethically, right, that's part of the art too. Building in safeguards, anticipating those biases we were talking about. It's a constant process of refining how these AI agents work, how they interact with each other, and how they interact with us. That makes a lot of sense. You need someone who gets the tech side, but also the human side, the ethics, the social responsibility, all of that. And that's why you're seeing these predictions about job titles, like, get this, AI artist alongside your data scientists and engineers. AI artist. I kind of like that. It has a ring to it, doesn't it? I can see the business cards now. But it's not just like a theoretical thing, right? This article mentioned Oral Roberts University, O-R-U, as a place that's already doing this. They're a great example. They're using AI in ways that, honestly, I hadn't even thought of. And it's not just about being cutting edge. It's about actually improving things. Like, what are they doing specifically? Give me the highlights. So they're using AI to personalize learning paths for students, connecting them with the right mentors, resources. They're even testing out AI systems that can give real-time feedback on student work, like presentations. Wow, that's pretty wild. It sounds like they're really weaving AI into the whole experience. Right. And that's that's the key. It's not just about the tech itself. It's about the integration, making it so essential you don't even notice it. Like that orchestra where every instrument has its part, but it's the conductor who brings it all together. Okay. 
Speaking of which, this article, it takes this idea even further, talking about this whole new kind of artistry. Yeah, and that's what I'm curious about. We've got this complex system of AI, so what's this next level of art? Yeah, and that's what I'm curious about. We've got this complex system of AI, so what's this next level of art? It's like, you know, we talk about coding algorithms, the technical stuff, right? But this is about stepping back and looking at the bigger picture, how AI fits into the organization as a whole. Holistic, right. Okay, you're going to have to break that down for me. What does that actually mean in the real world? Well, the article, it makes this point about AI making decisions. And whenever you have decisions, you have to think about the ethics of it all, right? Mm. Like, are there any biases baked in? Because those things, they can get amplified if you're not careful. Yeah, we've all seen those stories, right? AI bias and hiring, loans. It's kind of scary, honestly. Technology alone clearly isn't enough to solve those problems. Exactly. You need a human in the loop, someone who's asking, hey, is this right? Are we being fair? Someone who's looking out for those things. So the AI Maestro is not just conducting, they're like the ethical compass, too. Strategist, guardian, all rolled into one. That's a great way to put it. They're the bridge between all this amazing AI potential mm -hmm. and the impact it has on, well, on us. Mm -hmm. People, organizations, society. Makes sense. The more powerful AI gets, the more we need people to make sure it's used for good. And that brings us back to you listening right now. This article, it ends on this question. Is your organization ready to not just react to AI, but to really orchestrate the future with it? Whoa. That's, that's a big one. And honestly, it's not just for tech people, is it? No matter what you do, AI is going to be a factor. Right. It's here. It's changing things fast. And we all have a choice. Mm -hmm. Are we going to be swept along or are we going to help shape what this looks like? Definitely something to think about. Well, this has been fascinating. Thanks for, uh, for diving into this with me. I feel like I learned a lot. The pleasure was all mine. Yeah. I always enjoy digging into these topics, especially with you. It's important to have these conversations. And to everyone listening, thank you for joining us on this deep dive into AI and the rise of the AI maestro. Keep those brains buzzing, and we'll catch you on the next one.